Okay, today we're doing a quick video on how to do a print with Simplify 3D version 3.0.1. So, first things first, let's open Simplify 3D. And here we go. We're going to import our two models in which we want to do our two different colors. In this case, we're making a bow tie. So, there's our first object. There's our second object. Yeah. And we can see there that they've lined up nicely. Um, depending on how your models are in place, you might have to move them around using the, um, the object tool here. Um, in my particular case, I'm going to want to overlap this particular object, the center object, with the outer object. And the reason for that is I want them to have a nice hold together. So now that I've selected my group number two, which is the center of this here bow tie, I'm going to increase the scale until I see a nice little overlap right there. Uh, my apologies about this side of the model, I swear. <laughs> so now that we're overlapping, I know that uh, when we do do a print, um, it should turn out very nicely. Now what we want to do is we're done with our object there. We're going to go select tools here. We're going to go to the dual extrusion wizard. Um, this particular printer is this. We're going to change our material to ABS. And a particular thing to notice is make sure that box is deselected. We've already grouped, we've already aligned our models. If you have that selected, the models will scatter all over the plate. Pretty important to make sure that you've got that. So um, in this particular case, our right extruder, which is our center of our bow tie, is going to be white color. So we are okay with the right being the center. That's our white color. Now the exterior of the bow tie is our black color. So that's also now our left extruder. So I'm happy with that configuration. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go to edit the process settings down here. The reason I do that is I want to make sure that for ABS, my heated bed, if you have one, is at the correct temperature. My particular printer won't go above 80 degrees, and, well, that works for me. I also don't need to uh, have any support generated for this. It's not necessary. And then I'm going to go from one extruder to the other and make sure that the temperature settings are my AVS extrudes perfectly at 230 degrees Celsius, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. And the other thing to know is that uh, we want to make sure that both of these are checked here. Otherwise, we could have dips in temperatures, and um, and it could be too cool when it goes to extrude the other the other color. So, making sure that those are the correct values. I also am going to use a prime pillar, and I'll show you in a minute what that means. It's basically going to make a little square in the top left corner. And I also use a skirt and brim to make sure that I get good layer adhesion on the first layer. Now I'm happy with that. Got 50% infill. I'm going to click OK. Uh, got good overlap there. I'm ready to print. Uh, this particular box is going to come up. This is a continuous layer by layer print. I have not actually done sequential printing before. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be pretty tricky. So um, at this point, I'm OK with my settings. This here is our prime pillar that we were talking about before. And uh, as you can see, if we go layer by layer, it's different colors, just uh, used for ooze control, really, making sure that we don't have blending colors and, and little strings, stringers all over the place. Looks like i got to correct my model. But anyways, at this point, we're ready to print, so we're going to save those tool paths to the SD card. Turns out I've already got a bow tie there, but we'll just call it bow tie number two. Number two. And then we save. And... Tool path successfully exported, so we're ready to go. Looks good. Oh, 42 minutes. It's not so bad. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.